We're back with another episode, and 2K is actually giving us a lot of moment challenges. I think they're giving us, like, one every single day. And although they're not the same like they used to be, like, I remember we used to be able to, like, predict player moment, like, challenges. You know, if somebody went for, like, a 20-20 performance, like, we kind of already knew that they were going to get a moment challenge. Which sucks, because back then, we could, like, pretty much predict it and make a lot of MT. Like, if we knew a player was getting a moment challenge, we would buy the card for, like, under 1,000 MT. And then when the challenge came out, we would sell it for, like, 7,000. But at least they are still giving us moment challenges, so I guess we'll take. It. And speaking of all-star content, I can't wait until Tuesday. Like, I'm really hoping they give us some all-star packs like they did last year in 2K16. Although, I feel like they might not. Like, they might end up just giving us a USA player. But we'll see what happens, man. We really can't expect too much out of 2K, especially when we want to be really badly. If we're lucky, hopefully we get, like, some all-star packs where, like, we get, you know, a Diamond Kobe as the collection reward because he is tied for the most MVPs in the all-star game. But again, we'll see what happens. We never really truly know with 2K. And really quickly, I was going to let you guys know that if you have, like, any extra cards that you don't use, use in your lineup make sure that you're selling them today and this weekend that way you're preparing for the all-star weekend content that we're gonna get but in the next few days i'm gonna be selling all my extra moment players any other extra cards that i don't want anymore that i just don't need in my collection that way i have some mt to like you know mess around with with the new content that we do end up getting for the all-star weekend but that's just a quick little tip in case you want some mt to mess around with with the all-star content but let's get back to the challenges the first challenge you get 1500 mt and all you have to do is score 40 points in a short game and you do obviously have to win the game as well so a nice 1500 MT for that. And the second challenge is you have to get 10 dunks of your own and you have to win the game for 1000 MT. Now it might not be 10,000 MT but 1000 MT is better than 0 MT. Anytime 2K wants to give you free MT you gotta take it. And the third one is you have to play against a team with Kobe and Michael Jordan. And obviously you have to win and if you do you get 2000 MT. Again it's only 2000 MT but at least it adds up. You know this is already like 4 challenges. I think we're getting them every single day. So expect some more challenges like it just ends up adding up. Like I I feel like we've already had like over 200k worth of challenges so you got to give props to 2k for giving us these challenges pretty consistently so 2k if you're watching which i doubt it just keep up the good work and fix your servers i had to get that in just in case you are watching and the fourth and final challenge is probably the hardest one this one actually gives you 6,000 mt and i heard that a lot of people were failing this challenge i ended up completing it on the first try but that's only because i did use a god squad from the east so if you have like a lower tier team you're gonna have some trouble with this challenge but as long as you can defend steph curry in this challenge you should be good because that's steph curry like if if you let him get hot, he's gonna expose you. My biggest tip for this challenge would probably just be to just surround yourself with a lot of shooters and have your point guard be able to play defense and also drive to the basket. And a good point guard for this challenge would probably be like John Wall since he is from the East and he can also play defense and drive to the basket. But that's pretty much it for all the challenges. Make sure you guys are staying on top of it. Like make sure you're getting all this MT and make sure that you're selling your extra cards right now because right now is the perfect time to sell your cards. That way you can have a lot of MT and start saving that MT for the All-Star Weekend content. But enough talking, this episode we do get a diamond snipe and we also end up getting more sapphire snipes and at the end i do show you a nice little tip on getting some consumables for about 250 mt but without further ado let's get right into it leave a like and enjoy the rest of the video i'll wager tomorrow though well tomorrow's the sub tournament Woo! let's go derrick rose 100k finally wait did i get it let's go let's do it i do it i was just spamming Let's go! Finally, Derrick Rose! Oh, it took forever, but we got him! We got Diamond D. Rose! Let's get it! Let's get it! Finally, this car still goes for 250 KMT! Finally, man, about time! Dude, I just bought that real quick! Dude, Stanley said would be crazy. Magic with Penny, Shaq, and T-Mac. Yeah, the Magic would be a good team, too. Iggy? I could get Iggy, too. Oh, I get that. Oh, my God. Woo! I'll take that. Woo! I don't think those are snipes. Or maybe they are. Oh, Chris Bosh! Okay, why is it? Why? What the heck? Okay. Uh, How much is John? This is so many rubies. Oh, that was Eric Bledsoe? Bro, I missed Eric Bledsoe. 1450. Oh, dude, are these even snipes? I was getting them too easily. Uh, I'm pretty sure we checked earlier and the cheapest was like 5k. Oh, wow, ruby filter is kind of lit. Damn, I could have had Eric Bledsoe though, dude. Nobody lost 10k MT. Chill, chill, chill. Chill. What's the cheapest John right now? I just checked though. I checked the filter. The cheapest was like 5,000. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh my god. 
Dude, how come this guy didn't show up earlier? What? I literally did Ruby. 500 to like 5,000 and nothing showed up. First of all, I didn't lose MT. I pretty much broke even. I want to check the recording. I literally did this. I did Ruby. I'm out of the moment. I think you're right. And then I went up to like, I went up to like 5,000 on Ruby. I'm out of the moments now that I think about it. Uh, okay, yeah, I might have done moments. Yeah, I did moments. <laughs> no! I'll make 200 MT on each one. Dude, look at the snipe prints. Look at me over here. Look at the snipe god. All-star packs and Team USA? Yeah, who would it be though? Who in Team USA is like a, a god at like all-star games? Like, MJ was a god, but MJ was a god at everything. All Star Pack's gonna be like Yao? What do you mean, like Yao? What does that mean? Like Chinese packs? You think that's what it's gonna be? It could be Bird. I don't think it'll be Jordan. There's no way they'll give us Jordan this early. If they do, I'd be really surprised. Double the packs, double the money. Exactly. Oh. God dang it. I missed the white side. Like the one card that actually sells for something, I missed it. But I'll take it though, man. LeBron for 1.1, 1.2. Steph Curry, I barely missed it. How much is white side going for? I feel like white side is probably like a good, a good, nice little price. Damn, I wanted that white side, dude. Uh, I wanted that white side. That white side would have been money. That would have been a really good snipe, too. Feels bad, man. 3.5? Yeah, LeBron's going for like, I think... Oh, Whiteside is going for 1.5? Ah, uh, how much is LeBron going for now? Somebody earlier said he was going for like 2,000, so let's see. Let's go! I'll do 1.9, so that way it just sells. We'll do 1.9 for them, though. Get out of here, LeBron. Go, go, go. 1.9 for, uh, Bigger No Maestro. Ooh. Ooh, I got one, though. I'll take one. Ooh. I'll take a pick and roll maestro for 250 though, not bad. I'm selling my tech collection. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wow! Talk about a nice little snipe. Let's go! Curry for 1.2, LeBron for 1.3. I missed this curry, but I got the prints for 500 MT. You missed them all? You gotta be faster, bro. I love your videos, fam. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Shoes for days. They'll sell for something. I know that for a fact. And I got out sniped. Can I get a contract? Bro! Can I be taking L's on these consumables? Look at all these shoes. Whoa! I'm pretty sure I can sell all these for like more than 250, but thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Um, no, it's not that. Oh, shit. Pick and roll my show. Hey! Yeah, who's watched now, huh? Should I buy these contracts? Yeah, everybody buys these contracts like crazy. Dang. Damn, Pick and Roll Maestro does go for 700. 700? Not really the most profit, but... YOLO. We all know that didn't actually happen. 1.8 for this card? Dude, I got it for 500. Let's go. What do 1.9? And then Curry still sells for 2.5. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice little profit all around. I don't know what I just said. I said a lot of things just now. I'll take that. Oh, I missed the LeBron. I'll take the Prince, though. Nine just hit. Usually, we get the 500 ones. Like, usually, we get them, but that time, we missed it. Whoa. There is a lot of these players up right now. I really hope 2K gives us dynamic duos uh, tomorrow, if not this weekend or next week. 84 for Ray Allen. Pretty cheap. I'll just do the badges. I'm just going to buy these just to see what happens. Like, I feel like people make good money buying these contracts or else they wouldn't buy them. Like, if you can get, like, a few of those, like, you, you make 200 MT for each one. And it's literally just extra MT. They sell for 500 quite easily. Yeah, you see, people are just, wow. They just get the heck out of these cards. And I just noticed after editing the video that I didn't really show you how to get the consumables. Pretty much what I did was just go gold as the color and then minimum buyout 250 and then the max would be 250 as well. And you can go even higher, 300, you can go up to like 500 MT, it depends what you want to do. Usually I just do 250, that way if I see anything that's a badge or a contract, I'm gonna buy it right away. Just keep in mind that this is very competitive, like it's very competitive. If you're gonna go for this, you gotta be fast enough. And if you want to buy the contracts, go for it. They do sell for 500 MT, so if you sell them for 500, you get taxed 10%, so you really only make 450 
MT. But if you get them for 250, you make 200 MT for each one. And if you notice in the previous clips, like there's a lot of contracts that go up every single refresh. So it definitely does add up, especially if you get a lot of the contracts. Keep that in mind. That's just a nice little tip on getting the consumables for super cheap. And I'm not gonna redeem the MT just yet because I do want to just keep saving it because I'm really hoping for some really good content. And if we do get some content, the earliest we'll get it will probably be Tuesday. If not, it'll probably be next weekend. Not this weekend, but the next weekend. But there you guys have it. If you enjoyed that video and you learned a few things, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to Jones Squad XC if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.